So what is going on guys, Little Welsh here, and we are back with another FNAF VHS type reaction video. I found some more, and I haven't done one in a while, so let's hope this one goes good. So this one is called Last Message. So guys, once again, please go check these out, because uh, these creators work really hard. It's like always oh, saying in these videos, but guys, why not subscribe, hit that like, and comment down below to see what you think. And uh, let's get in. Okay. Okay, so on night four. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, the whole guy just out and running about. Is this meant to be the fun guy on the last night? Oh, night four. Seems like it. Golden Freddy. Okay. Well, I managed to survive another night, but unfortunately, he. Oh, there's some law. Um. He clearly, he clearly knew he was gonna die in this moment. I could hear it in his voice. Yeah. So the question I need to find out is, why was he so desperate to leave a message for me of all people? In his last months, he has family at home. And yet he choo he chooses. Yeah, this that is true. For another employee, it just doesn't add up. As everything doesn't in this place. Okay. Well, that whole night, I just couldn't stop wondering, why was that message so important to have been left at all? Mm. But playing it back, I noticed this. What did you notice, dude? Oh, so there's one in the back room. Document this as a part is of that spring trap? Golden Freddy. So, next stop is the parts and service room at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yeah. Uh, I've got a shift starting soon, so best go now. Get in there about an hour earlier. Check out this tape, and then hopefully not end up like him. Yeah, you don't want that. All right. All right. So you're back in your shift. Ooh. Hey, it's the gang. They look awesome. All right, so you're in. You got to check out the suits. Oh god, Bonnie's gonna That's look so at you. I saw Bonnie was just gonna look, man. That'd have been creepy. Oh, Golden Freddy. Why is he all covered in blood? Oh, is that cause... Is that cause, uh... He got stabbed? Oh my god, there's an actual light ball in there. Let's just get that tape. Why the heck would you leave that there? Why would you not investigate that and shut the place down if you saw that? Honestly, you just... You don't check the actual suit that has got the freaking body inside? Right, so he's got the tape. What is he going to say? What secrets are we going to find in this tape? Let's find out. Index mark. Alright, no date or time for this. Hello, Michael. Oh, okay. If you're seeing this, then I'm dead. I know you'll know about your father and now all these off things he's done in his life. Oh. I worked with Henry to put a stop to all this. But it only slowed him down. Oh no. The night your father died, it wasn't a car crash. He had been found in the back room, impaled by his own creation. Trapped within one of the old Springlock suits. Eef. Henry found him one night when there was a reported break in. 
Knowing what he had done, he turned his back on him while he screamed out in pain. So Henry left him. We thought he'd be dead by now, but I still hear him shouting, he won't give up. He's a dead man clinging on to life. Our so a soul possessing his own corpse, the same way those kids' souls were bound to those animatronic metals. The children are still angry. As I have failed my duty, it is up to you now. We cannot we can't we can't keep containing them forever. You will work with the with Henry to destroy everything and then this one all for good. I know why you took the night shift. I know why you hide in the shadows. I can promise you peace at the end of all of it all. And if you won't end this for yourself, end it for them. Do it for your brother, Michael. Good luck. Call Henry and he'll inform you further. Please also inform my family of my death. They don't already know. I just hope that when I go it doesn't hurt for too long. Damn. So who's this speaking? Who's that speaking? Damn. Okay. On to the next type, I guess. Okay, so this next one is called Knock Knock. Uh, I didn't really read the description of this or know what it's about, but we're gonna find out. It's a bit of an older one, this one, I believe. April 4th, 1984. Freddy Fazz Center. Concept art and design by William Afton. Oh, okay. Oh, those look like the juniors one. Way to bring family together, new intimate way. Construction begins May 24, 1984. So they were they were building Freddy Fazbear's? This is cool. Reminds me of the back rooms almost. Whoa, okay, what happened? We got a knock knock. We got a knock knock. Alright, so who are we? Who are we now? Just some investigator? Or detective? Wondering what happened here? It's very weird. All right. I have no idea, dudes. This is all just dark and scary. Is this like meant to be a fast paced fight? Someone's knocking. Who's been knocking? Someone's knocking on that door. I love how there's just a light on that door, and there's no light. There's no light source emanating that light. It's just there. Not that I know, anyway. Or there might be a light switch or some sort of light box there that I'm not seeing. Oh, sorry. Something is trying to get out of there. You better run. I would run. I would run. You know, I'd run. Oh, hi! Oh, it's Springtrap. Oh, that was a cool little... Oh, it's the Juniors versions. Oh, not Juniors versions, um, uh, FNAF Plus versions. What am I talking about, Juniors versions? I so can't wait for FNAF Plus, so I'm just gonna play the heck out of that game. What the freak are you doing? The, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, with the, with the closing elevator, I heard a voice coming from my workshop. I know it's impossible, but it sounded like my little boy. He can't be alive. Hello? I buried him. Excuse me? Excuse me? Alright guys. So the last one I'm going to check out today is Salvage Report. So I believe the last one and this one were made by the same creator. But honestly, the links to the creators and these videos will be in the description. So please, please, please go check them out. Because 
these guys deserve all the support they can get. But anyway, let's get in. So this is Afton. Oh, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. So this is basically FNAF 6. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Mm -hmm. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Right. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Mm, I want to leave. I want to leave. Maintenance checklist. He's going to jump Remember, you and use your cut you up. Your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. How are we doing this? Hey, how these video test tapes make it look so realistic. Document results. Hello? Oh god, don't look back. Don't don't look back. Oh, he's gonna be on you when you look back. He's gonna be just there, you know. He's just gonna be there. Oh, he's moved. Yes. Uh, I would shock right now. He's leaning Get back now. Uh, don't three, start the prompt. Two, he's gonna move one. again. Nope. This is why I don't really like FNAF Six. <laughs> FNAF Six is a pretty scary game when it can be, but also is FNAF Four is too. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Something is moving. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. He didn't move. Okay. Dude, I, I would. No, no, no. Don't look back again. Tase him first. Put him back to a neutral state. Tase the fudge out of him, okay? Are we in like a Freddy Fast Bears? Oh, is this meant to be the FNAF 6 location? He's gone. He's gonna be gone. Yep, yep. See, see, you see what you do? You look back, you look away for two seconds, and the thing's freaking gone. Where's your torch, dude? Where is your flashlight? Where is the light in this area? He's right, he's breathing. He's right in front of us, breathing. Yep, that's what you get! Alright guys, I'm gonna leave that one here. That was like, uh, those were some pretty amazing VHS tips. And once again, links in the description to check these out. And why not like, subscribe, and comment down below because it really does help. And I'll see you all next time.